first thing we're going to do in this episode is we want to tone the canvas. Now, toning the canvas means we're going to get rid of this white. We want a more base color to, turn, to tone this canvas down to a point where we can actually see what the values are. So to tone the canvas, we use our raw umber. Raw umber and the large number one brush that I mentioned to you in getting started. So I got a pile of raw umber here. And in my water tray, I'm just going to mix this raw umber up until I have a working wash. So what we're looking for is a color that's really the color of dark cocoa. And you might have to put quite a bit of raw umber into that, into that wash in order to get the color that we're looking for. It's kind of like dark chocolate milk. Okay, so I'm just about ready here. The thing about this is you don't want this wash color to be transparent. So it may take quite a bit of raw umber. You shouldn't be able to see the bottom of your tray when you make when you finish this wash. And this color is very important because toning the canvas is what's going to give us much better control later in the values. So I've got that about ready. And I can't see the bottom, so I'm ready to paint. And so toning the canvas, you can follow me, Brenda. Toning the canvas, we're just going to paint across the entire canvas with this wash. Now the base print drawing that's underneath that you have will remain and we'll be able to see it, still see it, because this is a transparent wash. And again, I'm using my one inch brush. Now sometimes what happens is newly primed canvas resists the paint because this is so thin. So you just have to be diligent and go over it until you can see all the white is gone. No hurry, just take your time. You want to put a nice even coat. We want this color to be the same, pretty much the same, throughout the entire canvas. As I said earlier, this procedure is called toning the canvas. And I know many artists don't bother with this step, but I find it makes it much easier to get your values or your color relationships more accurate without staring at this white. Staring at white is like looking directly into the sun. You just can't see the color because the white washes everything out. I'm just about there. And this is really step one on top of our base print. As I said, if you don't, don't apply too much pressure here. Just let the paint do its own work. And you'll find that the, uh, the base print underneath will stay and be visible for you to work from. Okay, there we go. That canvas is pretty well toned. And now we're gonna have to let it dry for, for about 10 minutes 